The most well-known feature of the Russian climate is its very cold winters. When the temperature outside drops below 20 degrees Celsius, it's very tempting to stay home. However, Russia has so much to offer in winter, and here we try not to miss out on the opportunity to have a real winter adventure, even if it's freezing outside. Having worked from home for the whole week, I decided to escape the city and go into the wild to try dog sledding for the first time. Hey guys, I've come to a place not far from Zhevsk. It's called a Husky Village. Can you hear? But the weather today is just crazy. There is a big snowstorm and it's far away from the city. And we need to go to this village, which is in the middle of nowhere and the roads are really bad and we got stuck on the way. But we are here. I don't know how we are going to come back, but it's okay. I'm very happy. I love these dogs. Let's go. Dog sleds have been widely used since ancient times by some indigenous peoples of Siberia. Nowadays, though, dog sledding is becoming more and more popular as a free time activity in many regions of Russia. У нас тут примерно 100 собак разных видов есть. Сибирские хаски, якутские лайки, аляскинские мамуты. Также там самоед есть на первой на первой части питомника, то есть такой белый пушистенький, как панда. Сибирские хаски самый такой классический вариант. Они выдерживают до минус 30, минус 40 градусов, ну и достаточно выносливые. Кукурузские лайки немножко нас поактивнее, они выдерживают до минус 60-65 градусов спокойно. В упряжках они тоже считаются хорошими, они быстрее изматываются. И аляскинские они больше как тяговые собаки. Один аляскинский маламут утащил за собой 2800 килограммов, ну, то есть почти 3 тонны. Отличается некоторой ленивостью. То есть, например, если хаски mm -hmm. с якутскими лайками у нас пройдут где-нибудь 30 километров, им достаточно будет минут трех передохнуть, и они снова 30 километров пройдут. Mm -hmm. Аляскинские маламуты в этом плане немного по-другому. Они 30 километров пройдут, они три дня будут валяться в Валерии. Я больше никуда не поеду. Просто я буду лежать, вы меня кормите и все. Во какой! This place is so beautiful, oh my god, and the weather today is just amazing. It was really hard to get here and I was afraid that we would get stuck somewhere on the way, but now being here is just like, you know, a fairy tale. Well, we're just at the beginning of our journey, but I've already seen some really cute animals like goats and huskies and it's just so amazing. Look, there is a kitty cat and here there are some pigs. They're so big and furry. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, I love goats so much. Hi. I like its haircut. Oop, so fancy. <laughs> no, he doesn't want to talk to me. Hi, goaties. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Сначала все начиналось так цивильненько, семь, десять собачек всего было на участке в Зайбелово, но со временем всем понравилось, собак стало все больше, больше. Соседи нам сказали, не стоит, вам здесь больше оставаться, пожалуйста, хотите завьял. В итоге мы нашли это место, купили, превратили это в перевалочный пункт. Вот есть круглый дом, вот синее здание такое небольшое. And there, I think there is a donkey. Let's see. Hi, who are you? I'm having a massage. Am I so delicious? <laughs> So I guess I'm gonna go to this hut now. In the cold, 
Ух ты, а вы кто? Шаман. Привет, привет, котик. We just met a shaman and he gave us this little ribbon to tie it on this bridge and it's supposed to make my wish come true and there is a little kitty cat there hi <laughs> yeah now we're gonna find the puppy dogs and here there is also a cafe where they serve mulled wine and i think we're gonna try this as soon as we get cold yeah this place is so cute the doggies are really happy i wanna make a video for you i bought this ticket for a one kilometer sled ride with these dogs and i've just seen how fast they run yeah that's gonna be extreme and this is a house of the people who live in the north I think in Mongolia or something We're gonna go there to just get warm And I think they have some food there, so it's like a cafe in this game for kids and they gave me a lollipop yay а что они кушают там у них горжок кефирчик яичко а мама не кормит их уже ну некоторые толстенькие а некоторые не такие толстенькие почему тут очень много ест Okay, now I'm gonna go and ride the dog. I'll be alone with an instructor. I'm excited, also a little nervous. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm a little cold, so it's hard to speak. <sighs> oh yeah, they're waiting. Uh -huh. <laughs> Something is wrong with the... Oh! Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are waiting. So you paint a picture of a face A face that wasn't even close to mine I know I shouldn't be in love But it's so hard to move on You haven't changed Oh, I'm so cold, my feet are frozen as well as my fingers because well i've been filming and we've been outside a lot but i'm so happy it's so beautiful here just like in a fairy tale with this snow and the doggies there are so many of them and some of them are really rare some breeds are rare and they take part in you know different competitions on the national level 
they're like really strong, they're professional athletes. I hope that you liked this video and I hope that these husky dogs made you happier just like they made me happy. And I'm so happy for these dogs because you know they live in such a pretty place and there is so much space for them to run around. They're kept in really good conditions. So thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting my channel. And special thanks to my Patreon supporters and PayPal supporters. You are the best. See you next time. Bye. Yeah, I've asked the lady that works here why kitty cats love hanging out with pigs so much and she told me that it's because behind this door oh there is another kitty cat there <laughs> behind this door they store meat for husky dogs